Hey guys, Tom Way 601 and today we have the Mysore, the Mysore, the five year reward ship for World of Warships Legends. We're going to go over its stats and talk whether this is a good or a bad ship. Spoiler alert, I kind of like it. And if you like videos like this, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Would love to see you around here a little bit more. So, what is Mysore? Well, it is essentially a down-tiered Commonwealth version of the Tech Tree British Tier 6 cruiser, Fiji. I know, that's a lot of words. So, take the Tier 6 Tech Tree British cruiser, Fiji, and uh, make a couple of big modifications to it to bring it down a tier and then switch its nationality over to the Commonwealth. I think this is the second Commonwealth cruiser we received, the other one being the Perth, a Leander-class cruiser. And, well, uh, Mysore, God, I, I enjoy it. What did they do uh, to, to downgrade it? Well, they did a couple of things. One, there's one less turret on this vessel, uh, two turrets up front, one turret in the rear, and then they also took the torpedo tubes away, leaving it feeling a little bit like a Belfast, but not really because honestly, my score to me feels more like a tier five Plymouth. Uh, it is nasty and I absolutely love it. Uh, you saw the kind of damage we were able to do on that broad side Pensacola earlier. And then just watch what happens when Fur Taco over here decides, you know what? Torpedoes are the best defense in short at short range. Yep. It's nasty British AP, uh, but on a Commonwealth cruiser. So who do we have commanding our Commonwealth cruiser? Well, we have Harold B. Farncombe, and we are running Makawa and Mimbelli as the inspirations. Then we have Beyond Range, Shell from the from the Ghost, which is his unique skill, Light Fortress fixated, fixated, and his legendary skill is fully packed. As far as mod slots go, well, we're running Aim Assist, or aim, Aiming System Mod 1 in the first slot, and then the Propulsion Mod, because, well, usually on British cruisers, we don't get prop mod, right? They slow down like like a giant ass truck on ice, man. They they do not like deceleration, but we can buff the deceleration here, which is great because we have crawling smoke on this thing and uh, you don't want to out accelerate your crawling smoke. So it, it does absolutely come in handy. Let's go and talk through the consumables. Of course, you have the damage control party. Duh, Just duh. You also get a heal, you can do 4,256 health per heal, which is pretty decent when your total health base overall is just 4,256. Sonar, you're looking at 2.8 kilometer for torpedoes, four kilometers for ship, so it's a little bit worse than Fiji's. And then of course we have the crawling smoke, 90 second duration, 10 seconds uh, dispersion, and a 235 second reload. So that's sort of my sore. And guys, I like, I'm sure you've been watching the gameplay. I have been absolutely enjoying this ship. It is incredibly strong. Like I said, I kind of feel like it is the Plymouth of tier five. Um, if, if you're like trying to analyze it and you're like, well, how does it compare to like Leander? Because it is a light cruiser that shoots only AP and has like weird pen angle AP. And, Honestly, it, it favors out pretty favorably. Uh, because of the gun layout, you are now able to get two thirds of your of your guns, six of your nine, uh, by being bow in, which means you are you are a lot harder target to hit to the battleships. Which let's be clear, do rain at the tier. Uh, the battleships are still quite overpowered at tier five. Uh, it just happens. It's what happens when you overmatch everything. It turns out. Uh, you you get to kind of rule the waves compared to everyone else. But just look at the damage we end up pumping in to this Renown right here. And I'm kind of just trying to judge if he's going to fire AP or HE. He fires HE. I'm like, oh, cool. We can go flat broadside to him. He is 
not a threat to us. Um, and we're just chunking them. And that's that's the beauty of the British AP. Reload on it, eight and a half, eight point eight seconds, which is longer than Leander, but I think the extra barrel makes up for it and the fact that if I if you don't want to, you don't have to expose yourself as much in order to get all of those guns on target. Additionally, my sword is also a bit stealthier than Leander, 9.5 kilometer concealment uh, compared to 9.8. So overall, a pretty strong and healthy ship. Now, we've cleared this map fairly well at this point, right? We there's only two other crew or two other battleships, and they're both uh, Japanese battleships, and that is going to be the struggle for this vessel. Uh, they don't have a bunch of superstructure, the light, the small caliber AP. You're going to see a lot of ricochets. You're going to see a lot of shatters because, well, uh, it don't do much. So we're just going to do what we can, damn it, and uh, go capture C. As far as what I'd like to see improved or whatnot, not much. I think the only thing that really caused the, uh, the current Commonwealth cruisers to suffer a bit is the crawling smoke. I know it's part of their gimmick. But I think we kind of need to relook at how we how what we do with it in this game. Uh, the reload time on it is fairly ridiculous, uh, two hundred and thirty five seconds, especially because remember it has a really long duration because that's where you get the majority of your smoke coverage. Most smoke screens they have a short duration but a long dispersion time, um, which means that during that dispersion time the reload can kind of cycle. Uh, and it gives you a shorter amount of time down this, you have a really long duration and very short dispersion. So you, you are dispersing for, or you're, you're, yeah, you're, you're, you're setting out that smoke screen for 90 seconds and then it takes 235 seconds for it to get back. Realistically, um, with stats like that, you would expect for the crawling smoke to be, I would call it the superior smoke screen, but if we're really looking at it, which one allows you to have more smoke out on the battlefield at any one time? It's gonna be the traditional smoke screen, but the way that it's currently balanced is much more of a, well, crawling smoke seems to be the stronger of the two is what it feels like in the balance department right now. So I think they probably need to take a look at it. Mind you, it's not something that affects a lot of people right now, right? Crawling smoke really only available for what, Hong ha, Hong Ki, uh, Mysore, and Perth, so a bunch of premium ships. People can deal with the deal with the issues. If we were ever to get a Commonwealth line where this was their gimmick, the crawling smoke, I think then we would probably realistically want to take a look at that because uh, it seems like a weird thing to be a bonus when it really isn't all around. If you know what I mean. But beyond that. Mysore, guys. Uh, if you're if you're unaware how to earn it, basically you just have to have played the game for five years and you get it for free. That's the other thing. This is a free premium ship, um, which is great. I I'm like I said, I'm really having fun. I was not impressed with Perth when that came out. Um, Mysore, definitely definitely more impressed with Mysore as as we come in and uh, you know as we kind of sort of finish out this game as. We're, we're getting the cap and it's kind of just whittled down the Hyuga and the Fuso. You can see, once again, like I said, we struggle against these targets. We, we're going to try to get what we can, but, you know, there's only so much health up in the Pagoda and the Pagodas do get kind of hard to hit at longer ranges and the rest of the Japanese battleships kind of well armored. So uh, we struggle at the end here. Uh, we kind of do specialize in taking out, right? We are a, we're, we're, we're kind of playing like a British light cruiser. We're going to specialize in taking out destroyers. We're going to do pretty good against broadside cruisers and then lightly armored battleships or just the American battleships overall because uh, all or nothing armor. Am I right? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, those are those are kind of our strengths. Everything else we are going to struggle with, but we pick up the high caliber there. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and wrap the video up now and show the end screen because, uh, well... It's not much else to be exciting about. Anyways, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.